Hello everyone and welcome back to my Netcave. In this tutorial today, we are going to work with the popular NeoPixels or also known as individually addressable LEDs. We are going to use the popular VS2812B LED type. We will learn how to program the color of each LED individually, making a simple Larson scanner or mostly known as Knight Rider LEDs. We will finish the video by looking at a simple prototype part of a project I am busy with to create an edge lit acrylic clock or also known as a cheap version of the LED Nixie tube, which is an upcoming project video coming soon. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get back to this tutorial. You will need the following components to follow along. A Raspberry Pi Pico, New pixel or individually addressable RGB LED light strip. In this video, I'm using 20 LEDs from my 1 meter WS2812B LED strip with 30 LEDs per meter strip, a breadboard, and a few jumper wires. The wiring is straightforward. You connect the 5 volt of the LED strip to the V bus, connect the data pin of the LED strip to GP28 or any other type of GPIO pin, and connect the ground of the LED strip to the ground of the Pico. Just one thing to note, for this demonstration, we are only using a limited amount of LEDs, so it is okay to power it through the Raspberry Pi Pico. If you are creating a project with many LEDs, always use a separate 5 volt power supply that can supply enough current to all your LED strips. Before we start the code, we first need to download a library for the new pixels. Head over to the GitHub repository of the user blaze-r, open the new pixel.py and copy all the code. Now open Fonny, create a new file, paste the code and save it on a pico as newpixel.py. In our first example, we will look at controlling the LEDs individually. Go to my GitHub page, link down below, copy the code under example 1 and make a new file in Fonny and paste. In our first line, we will import the new pixel from the new pixel library that we have added to the Pico. We import the uTime library to use a sleep function for delay and random library to random a value that will be used later in our code. We then set the number of pixels, in this example it will be 20 pixels. We then initialize our new pixel function, setting it equal to the variable strip and we pass the number of pixels, the current state machine and our GP pin used for data in, which in our case was 21 and we will also be using RGB. Some LEDs has RGBW which have a separate LED for producing white light. In this block of code we create different color. Remember that we are using the RGB color model, so you can create any color. In the first line, we create a variable red and set it equal to the tuple, which will have the value of 255 for red and 0 for green and blue. At the end, we create a list of all the colors. We create a variable to store the delay value, half a second showed here, and using strip.brightness, we can set the brightness value of our LEDs. To set a single LED, we can use the strip.setPixel and pass it an LED position and color. But for this demonstration, let's random 5 LEDs to be turned on, displaying a random color from our list. To do this, we will create a random integer value from 0 to the number of pixels, minus 1 since our index of our first LED is 0, and then from the colors RGB, we create a random integer from 0, minus the length or number of colors, minus 1, since our index color for the red starts from zero. Now upload this to your Pico and here we can see five random LEDs turning on with random colors and every half a second five new LEDs will turn on. We can also then play with this delay or go add more LEDs. Our second example is the Knight Rider LEDs. Again we will import the same libraries except for the random Set the number of pixels and initialize our strip. This time we will only use red LEDs and a short delay. We set the brightness of LEDs and this time without using fill to set the LEDs off, we will assign the LEDs values 0 for the red, green and blue. In our main while loop we will use previous code covered in this simple Knight Rider project by setting LEDs on and off in a sequence and shifting everything from left to right creating the Knight Rider LED effect also known as the Larson scanner. Changing the delay you can change the speed of the scanner. The last example is part of a prototype of a project I'm working on to create an edge lit acrylic LED clock. In this case we only have the digits 0 to 9 which will be expanded by adding more to display hours, minutes and seconds. The way this is done is that I have cut the LEDs into strips of 3 
and glue them to the base. Then model the following two parts to ensure each acrylic piece is lit up individually, not causing light to shine through to other pieces. The code at this moment is very basic, just turning a row on every 3 seconds. I plan to make a full video soon to take you through the whole process, from designing to creating a PCB and a code. So if this is something you are interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I hope you found this tutorial helpful on the new pixel and I will see you in the following video.